Hey there creators, Neve here and today I'm going to be doing a painting of this dog in colored pencils and pen pastels. Let's get started. Well hey there guys. Alright, so today I am doing uh, Roxy and she is a long haired uh, chihuahua and uh, she's actually a uh, member of our family sort of not not our dog it's a uh, I'm doing this for a family member um, uh, or a couple family members <laughs> but, um, yeah so she's their dog so she's a dog from our family <laughs> and she's a very sweet dog um, and yeah very cute. <laughs> so um, I started off the background uh, doing uh, the pan pastels because they are, they really do make the background go faster initially. Um, but I did have uh, a hard time with this background today. Um, and it had nothing to do with the pan pastels. The pan pastels were fine. Um, it was more just, uh, you know, trying to get it to look the way that I wanted it to look. So what had happened was uh, I did sort of a mock-up of what I wanted to do um, for the piece and I sent it to um, uh, our family member to, you know, okay it, like, is this basically what you're looking for, blah, 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 you know, and, um, and they loved it and they thought it was great, um, but because, you know, just the way it kind of looked, it, it just happened to look like there was like a Christmas tree or something in the background in one area. Um, so yeah, they were like, yeah, I love it except for the Christmas tree. And I was like, what, what Christmas tree? <laughs> because of course I'm not going to put a Christmas tree in the background, you know? So I was like, I, I had, I didn't really, uh, know what they were talking about. And then, I mean, once I looked at it more, you know, it was because some of the, the way it just happened, the light or darkness shadows happened to look in the background. It sort of kind of looked like a Christmas tree. And of course, once you see it, you can't unsee it. So um, I was really worried about that uh, when I was doing this piece. So I, there was just a lot of uh, me going back and forth and back and forth. And uh, in, y there was a huge jump there because I, I got so frustrated. I, I spent a long time off camera just trying to figure it out because I didn't want... Um, I didn't want something in the background to accidentally look like something, you know, it's just supposed to be a blurry background with, um, uh, yeah, some, some of those orby lights, you know, the, in the background that look like, uh, light in the distance. Um, but it's really not supposed to look like anything, uh, specific. And I wanted to do, uh, kind of a diagonal blue on one side green on the other um and they liked that as well um so that's what i was trying to go for with like the the orby lights in the background a lot of white lights going uh across in between the blue and the green um but uh in the mock-up the uh where the green went up uh, into the top part of the diagonal, that's where it looked like it was, there was a tree there. So, so basically what, what I'm saying is that I, like, it really got into my head and I was really worried th about that. And so because of that, I had just, I had to spend so long trying to fix that and trying to make sure it didn't look like there was anything in the background. And I think I achieved that. And <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the background turned out now. It's not exactly how I initially wanted, but again, um, you know, you got to make changes when, you know, something's not turning out right. And yeah, so right now I'm working on the eyes of the dog because at this point I, I wasn't fully done with the background, but I needed to move on. I, I had to move on to the dog um, because uh, and then I went back to the background later on. Um, and adjusted that. So I'm working on the eyes right now and the hair around the eyes. And um, Roxy is quite uh, bright. Um, she's not quite as bright as uh, in that uh, mock-up on my phone there. Um, 
so I did tone that down a bit, but I but I did want to emphasize some orange um, just because it looks good against the blue and green because um, compl it's their complementary colors. So complementary colors go great together. Those are colors that are opposite on the color wheel. Um, so uh, an orange looks great against a blue, and uh, yeah. <music> So this week has been, or, or this month really has been uh, a bit of a whirlwind, I guess you could say, um, coming off of the holiday season and moving into the new year. Um, it's kind of started um, some new things for me. Um, so this weekend, um, actually while when this video is scheduled to go up, I'm, oh, and apparently I'm helping my daughter with some homework. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's in the video. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, um, so this weekend, uh, when this video goes up, I'll be on a plane, I think, or at least landing. Um, I am going to Florida to uh, see my grandparents because my grandpa is turning 80, or actually he's already turned 80. Um, but we're celebrating his 80th birthday uh, with a big party. So I'm really excited to see them. I haven't seen them in years. Um, so that's really fun. And it's also I'm also really excited because I'm going to see my dad who uh, I don't get to see often either um, and um, my dad and I have really been um, kind of hanging out more online because uh, one thing that we are both really into is genealogy and um, a couple weeks ago I don't know why but I randomly got you know bit by the genealogy bug again and <laughs> just felt like researching and uh, just got completely sucked into it and um, unfortunately other parts of my life <laughs> have kind of, um, I wouldn't say suffered but had to be on the back burner a bit because I've just gotten so sucked into it and uh, mostly because I've been uh, researching a lot of my husband's family and uh, this is, the, the dog here is actually for my husband's side of the family. <laughs> Um, cause I never really researched his side of the family before. So, um, I just, uh, got really into it and I found so much information and it was very exciting. And then, um, my dad, uh, bought a month of, uh, subscription to ancestry.com. And so, <laughs> of course, now I have access to all these, uh, you know, historical files now. So it's been really, really fun. And I've just been really immersed into it. Um, and here I'm doing uh, Roxy's fur. And long hair was actually kind of new for me because I haven't been doing these uh, pet portraits for very long. Um... Only about a year now, uh, maybe <laughs> a little less, I think. But uh, yeah, and I hadn't really done a lot of long hair, so this was uh, a bit of a challenge, but also fun and uh, interesting. Um, yeah, I think I learned a lot uh, by uh, doing the the long hair here on this long haired Chihuahua. <laughs> Um, yeah, I had to go back and forth, uh, really add in some dark tones underneath where the, un underneath the hair, um, and then come back with some lighter tones, and it's all about layering, really. You just want to go back and forth, and, uh, areas that were getting too dark, I had to go back over. Right there, I added a lot of light, um, fur, and I am starting to go back to the background now, um, to really, uh, fix it up and to make it brighter because it, it had really become quite dull at this point so I wanted to brighten it up and uh, poor Roxy here did not have a finished face until the very end <laughs> because I did you know the initial background and then I was working on the dog itself um, and then uh, and then I before I finished the dog I wanted to uh, complete the background so I spent quite a while uh, doing that and 
it wasn't until near the end that I actually started working on her nose and mouth and uh, the area around there. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, I've been doing a lot of genealogical research and finding out so much information, not about, not just about my husband's family, but um, also my family too, because uh, now that I have access to all these files, we're finding, finding out more information. And we already did know a lot of information because like I said, my dad and I just love to do um, that sort of stuff. Um, so we already had a lot of information and... Um, but now we have more, and that's really cool. And I also found out a lot of information on my mom's side of the family, which I didn't really know a lot about either. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, my dad and I also are, my not my dad, my husband and I decided that uh, for Mother's Day and Father's Day, we're actually going to get uh, one of those, uh, not an Ancestry DNA test, but uh, the 23andMe is what we decided to go with. Um like, I love Ancestry, and obviously we have a huge tree on uh, Ancestry.com, um, but uh, I liked a, a lot more of what uh, 23andMe has to uh, offer with their tests, because they also do, you know, traits and, uh, you know, um, <laughs> a what you might be a carrier of, health reports, things like that. So that's, that's really a lot more interesting to me because I feel like I'm going to learn more information through that. But yeah, so I'm really excited to get that done and um, yeah, and <laughs> compare notes with my dad because he might be getting that done soon too. All right, so I'm starting to get near the end of this. So I'm adding in a lot of uh, a, a brighter uh, uh, orbs. <laughs> um, and I am using the white uh, pan pastel to do that. And I also added some of the, the uh, sparkle, the pearlescent uh, pan pastel just to add a bit of a slight sparkle to the background. And um, yeah, and then I also used the... Uh, uh, what, what's it called? <laughs> the touch-up texture and titanium white to add in the finishing highlights and the uh, sprinkles. Oh, here I am, the uh, touch-up texture and titanium white. Um, I'm getting a little better at mixing that. <laughs> so, yeah, and it just really putting just the, the finishing sparkle on everything. And, of course... Um, when you're doing this, it's really easy to go too far and put too much. So uh, once that dries, I have to go through and um, uh, cover some of the areas that I, I put too much touch-up texture on. Um, but what that's a great thing about the touch-up texture is that even if you make a mistake with it, um, you can easily go over it. So yeah, it's, it's a very forgiving medium. And um, yeah, so uh, I'm nearing the end here. I'm going to put some last sprinkles of uh, white on, around. Um, and uh, yeah, I think this turned out um, uh, really well and I'm really happy with it. And uh, let's get to the uh, final screenshots here. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Later, creators. Bye.